Hi, today's Let's Play is Parkitect Pre-Alpha 8. Every month they release a new update to Parkitect, adding new features and rides to the game. I thought I'd just run through some of the new things that have been added to this Pre-Alpha. Um, again, starting again with Parkitect Nexus Client, sorry, because uh, it allows you to install a whole load of mods. If you look at my mod list here, you can see I've got plenty of mods in there. Several flat rides now, billboards, Coaster cams, dodgems, jump and fountain, loads of things. Extra shops now. The the modding community has been really good and really busy adding more things to the rides to to enchant your your theme park. But let's launch pre alpha eight and see what's new. I shall start a new park. And we'll run through some of the stuff that's new in the game. First things first, let's get a bit of a path going on. There we go. So let's do the new rides first. There's a new flat ride, only one been added, one official one, and that's the spiral slide. So I shall add it. Uh, I'll put a park entrance in and an exit. They have done something great with the with the queue lines. Let me just show you. Um, in pre-alpha 7 and previous versions the queue line always had to stick out like this and then you'd roll it back like that possibly to run against but you always had this awkward sort of sticky outness which which wasn't tidy and then one of the one of the people on the reddit forums suggested doing this instead and they've added it to the game it's great it's a right angled entrance so so now you can actually have tidy queue lines going down to your rides it, it's a great small. It's a small change, but it's a great change because you're able to like keep things tidy. Let me just open up the spiral slide, give people something to ride on, and we'll check out the next new ride. Um, just before I do that, let me just order hire some staff. Just going to hire excessive amount of staff. Okay, next ride. Uh, the, the only other ride added officially is a ghost mansion ride. Think about a, like a haunted house type ghost train ride. And if I build one, a nice basic simple one. Stop building stations. This ride has a, a turning mechanism in it. so. As the cars go round, they can actually be turned, so you can actually turn them to face a different direction. So, for instance, I can get it to face that way. Build a few bits of track like that. And then I can potentially turn it to face that way. Oh, don't want a massive corner like that, just want to really, that's it, just to demo the ride really more than anything. And you can even get the face backwards if you want. Nope, nope. Excellent. Put an entrance in, put an exit in, put a path to the entrance. Oh, don't want to connect the entrance and exit together, let's just do that. Oh, I don't want to do that either. Oh, there we go. Right down the end. So the entrance and exit are together. It's not the most exciting ride type, but I think with more theming, it's going to be quite good. You'll be able to build your own little ghost house and have a ride inside it. Let me just uh, open it up. Clicking round and round and round. Oh, I don't want the cars to go like that, so I want individual cars, please. Uh, 
and I'm going to reduce the cost to zero. I don't want people to have to pay to go on it because, again, it's not the most exciting ride in the world. So you can actually theme it. If we go here and we look under structure walls, is it going to find anything? Well, oh, wall, here we go. Ah, my mouse is a bit jumpy. It's annoying that. So yeah, you could build like a ghost house around it. I'm sort of failing at it quite miserably here. And then you could put in like, I think there's some coffins and things and props you can put in. A little bit of, uh, change the color of the ground underneath. There we go. We've got a bit of theming going on. There's an option now you can actually hide scenery as well. So if I was to if I was to build the scenery up a bit, I should have really done that while I was in here. Never mind. Structures, walls. I don't know why the search isn't working. Oops. So if you build a house like that, the thing is you can't really see the ride, but they've added a hide scenery option, so you can now see through scenery and see the ride inside, so that's quite cool. That'll be very handy if you're building these sort of rides. What else have we got? Oh, the carousel and other rides have uh, the option now you can, you can actually put the number of times it goes around. So you can give people a good long ride like that, or you can give them a really short ride like that. Oh, for goodness sake, I've put them around the wrong way. Exit there, put the ent entrance there, and then we can use the queue line thing to go straight down, and it turns us round and Keeps everything nice and tidy. So there's a carousel that only gives customers one one go round. Nice, someone's already been sick. There's barely any rides in the park. Okay, what other things have we added? They've added a if I, they've added a new utility tab and a staff room. Remember how staff used to stop on the benches? Let me add some benches. Staff used to rest on benches. They weren't very realistic. You wouldn't normally see that at a theme park staff sitting around on benches so the developers have added the utility buildings there's only one at the moment it's the staff room uh, let me just build a staff path off the main path some strategic entrances and then I can build a utility building the staff room well there we go so the staff got somewhere now to go rest. The, the only thing I've got, the only slight annoyance with the staff room right now is if you click on it, you get no information at all whatsoever. So it'd be nice if you could like see how many staff are in there resting or if it has a capacity limit, it lets you know. But at the moment, no clues unfortunately. So it's early doors. It's like a bench for staff. So my staff have got somewhere now to go and rest and recuperate and have their lunch. That's awesome. They've added a, also in the official rides, if I go to it, they've added a water effect to the log flume. So if I quickly knock together a log flume, I can show you that. Uh, 
stop building stations. Otherwise, I'm going to run into the carousel. Hard I'll go. Uh, um, oh, I don't know. Down, straight, round, round. It's not again. It's not going to be the most exciting ride, but it'll show off the the pretty water effect. Exit. Paths. Oh. I am liking this right angled entrance. It's going to make things so much tidier. And I believe it works on exits as well. Yeah, there you go. That The exit also can go to right angles. So, let's see. Six logs on the log flume. Go. Speed it up. Hopefully we can see it. So you can see the water flowing effect uh, there. That's pretty cool. And oh, as the log comes down, nice little water effects and splashes and stuff. It looks really good. Oh, sorry, it stopped spinning the view around. The ride's open. Why aren't people going on it? Oh, hang on, it's 150 a go. Make it 10 cents a go. So that's that. Um, other things I've added. They've got a handy delete option. If we put in, say for instance you put in some, you've got scenery that looks like this and you've got some trees and I want to delete them cubes because they're not trees, I, I mean the old way you do it is you just right click individually on each one but now you can just right click on the first one and keep your finger down on the right mouse part and then just drag over and it'll just delete the same type of scenery so I just all I did there was wiggle my mouse. I didn't bother with like oh there's one there. You see, much easier, much easier to delete stuff of of one type while leaving all the rest of the stuff around untouched. So I think that's most of the official changes done. It's you know it's coming along nicely again. The game the game certainly is progressing nicely. Um, there's some more scenery items there that they've added. And there's some scenery items here that I've got in a mod, like jumping fountains for instance, which oh, looks really strange, but look, that's a mod that is. Really cool, jumping fountains over the paths. And there's snow, the snow covered trees, which is great. If you want to create a snowy area. Some of the unofficial, or should I say the mods for the game, the rides, let me just go through some of them. Extend my path even further out. Because there's several of them now, there, there really is. Um, let's go for it. It's the KMG experience. I've covered that, I think, in a previous Let's Play video. But Mega Disco is one, so I'll add one. I can put in entrance in there and exit there and I think I could probably run the queue path along here oh okay some creative path work but yeah look at that thanks to the right angle starts so that's one mod but one one mod that I've downloaded and installed it's called the mega disco sort of spins around goes up and down others other ride mods like Sledgehammer, just pop that in there, entrance, exit, I'll open up.
trying to think. There's the Slingshot Submission, which is a uh, Alton Towers ride. I'm not sure if other theme parks got it, but definitely Alton Towers. Entrance exit. It's great. The mod community is really good because you know these rides are coming out. These mods are coming out. It, it adds to the theme park. It adds to the game. Hopefully, some of these mods will get officially incorporated into the game at some point. I'm not entirely sure what the plan is or whether they'll just keep them as mods. But yeah, things are looking good for the game. Uh, some other mods, I've got some extra shop mods as well now. They've, um, there's a couple of things I've done. If I put a standard shop in first, Hot Dog, if you look at the delivery crates, you can now see like little pictures on them. So you can see that that one's got sauce in, that one's got the buns in, and that one's got the meat in. So then three will have to be delivered to the hot dog stand for it to open. But again, the mod authors have been at, at work. I mean, there's now a pizza stand. You've got um, pancakes. You've got oh, a, 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 a hot dog like cart. Hot chocolate stand. The 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 oh, it's great. You could just add so much more variety to your to your theme park that you know eventually I'm sure they would have had it anyway but it's great that that they're there now you can and this is early doors imagine you know in a few years time there could be hundreds of different buildings hundreds of different rides I mean this thing looks evil I'm, I'm not entirely sure this this is a real ride it probably is but that one certainly is and this one certainly is well, people are on it right now and enjoying it so that's awesome Yeah, Party Tech pre alpha 8 is coming along nicely. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else I've changed or added. I've got a lot of mods running, which probably doesn't help. We could have a quick look at the notes, the patch notes for the game. Um, if I alt tab out, there we go. So, Staff Room, Ghost Mansion Ride, Slide, Spooky Walls, Number of Times the Ride Goes Round, Scene Free Scenery. The connecting ride exits and entrances from the sides, that's a brilliant change that was, that one. Colour filters, the graphic set and menu, I didn't look at that. TV decor objects, so you can put TVs on queue lines so people can be entertained while they're um, queuing, or you can just have them through your park. Oh yeah, the repair, re repair mechanic. The mechanic now repairs these little boxes at the side of the ride, so actually now when a ride breaks down, he comes along and hits that with a wrench and that fixes the ride so that's quite cool so you've got a little animation now for when rides break down unfortunately you have to wait for a ride to break down to show you that one what else is there um, back to the patch notes um, path styles moddable didn't cover that really I'm not entirely sure what they mean by that and game balances and and a few fixes so yeah the game's come along lovely uh, it's certainly worth, if, you, if you're interested in this sort of game, it's certainly worth getting into. Though again, there are no scenarios yet. There are, though, scenarios you can download from mods. So if I was to quit this and go load. Um, oh, I haven't got, I haven't got any installed at the moment. Oh, I so have build your own pier. So someone's done the map and all you have to do, so the map is a mod that you can download off the Park Nexus website and here here they've done a like a pier and you, you build your theme park on the pier which is great, it, so it gives you, uh, it limits what you can actually do, I mean I don't suspect there's anything stopping me building over here, let me just try it, uh, bang bang, yeah you can build over there but the whole point is you try to build your theme park on that section of pier only so yeah you can download them mods so if you want a challenge uh, Comni still doesn't really work so that that's a bit still broken they're still working on it uh, apart from that the games come along nicely so yeah definitely worth checking out I believe it's about $15 the, the website's there if you want to get involved download it uh, as I say they've, they've been 
doing updates every month. Every month a new pre-alpha comes out. And I think after a while it's going to turn out to be a really good game unless something really drastic goes wrong. So thanks for watching.